Hi everybody, welcome to Storytime with Karma Wilson. I'm a children's book author and um, my whole YouTube channel is dedicated to sharing children's books and activities to go along with those books. And today I would like to read to you a book from one of my, um, from my bear series, Bear's New Friend. And this is a good summary book about meeting new friends. I love meeting new friends, don't you? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the story. I am the author of this book, which means that I wrote the words inside the book. I am not the illustrator. The illustrator creates the pictures, and the person who painted the pictures for this book, her name is Jane Chapman. She lives all the way across the ocean in England. Hi, Jane. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the story. Thanks so much for joining me. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Bear's New Friend. Author, Karma Wilson. Illustrator, Jane Chapman. Published by the Margaret K. McElderry imprint of Simon & Schuster. What do we have over here? This, it is what is called a dedication. And the author and the illustrator have the opportunity to make their book special to somebody that they love. And so I dedicated this book to all the children who have become new friends with Bear. Thank you for reading my books. Oh, thank you guys. And Jane Chapman, she dedicated her book for Boo, I Love You. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we're ready to start the story. In the woods, in the sun, on a hot summer day, Bear feels an itching to head out and play. He goes to find Mouse, his littlest friend, but just as Big Bear heads around the bin, there's a clatter in the trees. <gasps> what could it be? And the bear asks, who? Bear calls, is that Mouse who hides in the tree? But Mouse scurries up and squeaks, it's not me. Bear scratches his head. Who's hiding up there? Mouse shrugs his shoulders. Perhaps it is hair? Mouse starts to shout, Come out, friend, come out! And the bear asks, Who? Nobody answers. Who is it? asks Bear. They peek in the tree, but nobody's there. Bear cries, no one's here, but where did they go? Then Hare hops along and says, howdy ho. Something sped past, going fast, fast, fast. And the bear asks, who? Hare says, let's go follow to see what we see. Bear says, is it Badger? Who else could it be? But there by a log with gopher and mole, Badger is peering into a deep hole. Come look if you dare, there's someone down there. And the bear asks, who? Bear says, it's not us, but who is it then? I know, says Badger, it's Raven or Wren. But Raven and Wren flap down from the sky. We saw all our friends and we thought we'd fly by. Up from the ground comes a rustling sound. And the bear asks, who? Who are you down there? Who is it, I say? Why stay in that hole? Why hide the whole day? 
Why don't you like us? Why, 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 why? Then a trembling voice says, uh, Because I am shy. Two eyes peek a boo, and the voice says, Who? And the bear says, Hi! I'm bear, howdy ho, that's mouse and that's hare, and gopher and mole are standing right there. Next to those bushes sits raven and wren. Come swimming in it with us in the pool by the glen. Please do not hide. Come on outside. Then... An owl says, Hoo! Hello, I'm Al, and I'm sorry I hid. I'm just a bit bashful, and that's why I did. Bear says, hello, friend. Come on, cries Mole. They all scamper off to the old swimming hole. They splish and have fun in the hot summer sun with Bear's new friend. The end. Thank you so much for joining me for story time with Karma Wilson and Bear and all of his friends, including his new friend Al. If you enjoyed this story, please click subscribe to hear more. Thanks for joining me. Bye now.